Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Bloom Star Defense 5 Deluxe Edition. Uh, in this episode I am continuing the medium reverse stage series thingamajig and uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, and again, like every time I don't remember what stage I'm going to. Uh, so let's see after we divide after that. But, uh, ascension. Ah, uh, this, <laughs> this track in particular, I remember uh, when I did it on easy, I was able to beat it with like four towers, which was pretty cool, but uh, I think I'm probably going to need a little bit more this time, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So, uh, right now, this is kind of the same thing where there's two paths, so I'm going to go for the... Uh, Bionic Boomer rather than the uh, Glaive Ricochet just so that I'm able to have that faster attack rate to switch between lanes and all that. Uh, then after that I'm gonna need some camo defense. So uh, I think I went with the uh, Monkey Apprentice last time. So this time I'm gonna well you know I'll try to do the same thing as I did last time just to see if it works. Uh, First, obviously, you're going to get Bionic Boomer, and then switch over to Glaive Ricochet. Or, not Glaive Ricochet, but a Glaive Thrower. Just that, the Glaive Boomer, whatever you want. Bionic Glaiver, or whatever. Um, anyways. Uh, after I build the Bionic Boomer, I'm going to go for the Monkey Apprentice. And, uh, I'm not really sure which direction to place it. or Because I placed, like, one tower on each of these little, uh, four cloud points. Uh, which I thought was pretty cool. But, um, what else? Uh... I do have deluxe upgrades this time, so that should be a little bit more helpful, but not really that helpful, because really the only difference is double Ranga, but I don't remember if I had double Ranga uh, last time. I'd have to like go back and watch that video. I uh, probably did uh, by this point. I definitely had the uh, specialty building by now, because um, this is one of the, lo the later stages. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, so let's see. Uh, but uh, I guess something I should talk about real quick um, is that obviously if you noticed I am able to uh, monetize my videos now and I have them on the uh, lower little or I changed the advertising type so that it's not one of those um, pre-roll ads I guess but anyways I don't know why I'm talking about it that doesn't really make much of a difference but uh, I can tell that yeah I am losing a couple lives because um, I don't have Bionic Boomer, because uh, I am not, I don't have a fast enough attack rate. Which I find interesting, because now I want to know, how did I do it before? Like, <laughs> uh, did I have it in a different place? Or, like, I remember I placed the Boomerang Thrower over on this side, which I don't think would make a difference now, because the track is reversed, so I think it should be the same. It looks pretty much the same, but uh, I don't know exactly how different it is. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go with multi-target. And, uh, there is this, uh, no, nah, I won't talk about it yet, but, um, <laughs> now I'm confused, like, I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as the game, I guess, yeah, I will stick with my gear apprentice, but, uh, now I'm just thinking all, like, what am I doing? And do you guys think I should try, uh, cutting some of this episode out just to make the episodes a bit shorter, or... I like cut out the parts where I don't have anything to talk about or something, uh, keep it more balloons related, or do you not mind when I just ramble on for no apparent reason, or uh, forget what I'm trying to talk about or something, but um, let's see, what else? Uh, here's actually a pretty good spot, um, just because of the angle, it arcs back onto the path again, but then here it kind of arcs away from the path, but eh, it's kind of the same effectiveness just depending on how far away uh, it is. So, you know what, I actually am going to do something a little different, um, well, I guess, eh, yeah, I guess I'll put it there, I'm not really sure, uh, well, no, I'm not going to put it there, <laughs> uh, thank you for Monkey Tycoon, letting me just switch it up all like that, but anyways, I'm going to place my tower here, because it's a little bit farther away, and I'm going to switch it to... Well, I think I had Dragon's Breath last time, but I kind of want to do the Whirlwind, um, just because I'm placing it a little farther at the end of the track, then I can use Whirlwind to uh, knock the balloons back towards the beginning, because uh, that'll be helpful. And after the Monkey Apprentice, I'm going to go for the Monkey Ace, because that is uh, a pretty good tower once you upgrade it enough. 
Uh, definitely the Spectre is just amazing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that high. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be able to uh, afford the Spectre yet, uh, or on this track, um, just because it's one of the harder stages, I'm on medium and all that. Although, because it's on medium, that means I have more rounds or more waves uh, to save up money, so I guess I could uh, potentially get that, but uh, let's see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, see how many lives I'm losing by that point, but, um, alright, so I am using my Monkey Apprentice as camo detection, so, uh, the camo wave is going to come pretty soon, and I do have camo detection on my Monkey Apprentice, and it is just one green balloon, so I'm pretty sure I'll be fine, but just to be safe, I really want to get the lightning bolts, uh, before that wave actually happens, just to be 100% sure that I'm just going to destroy that one balloon. <laughs> Uh, because I'll shoot out my normal shot, my fire bolt, and my lightning bolt right there. So that definitely gets rid of the three waves, or three uh, layers on the balloon. Um, but uh, as far as all the other camo balloons that are going to appear, I'm uh, not sure. I, again, I kind of want to go with Summon Whirlwind uh, just to throw the balloons over here closer to the beginning of the tracks. So my Bionic Boomer has a little bit more of a chance to pop them. But I don't know, and I don't remember if I have Big Balloon Sabotage on. I think I turned it off, um, and my Healthy Bananas, even though I don't use Banana Farms anymore. Um, so I don't really need to worry about those. Well, I do have to worry about Moabs, but I don't have to worry about uh, Banana Farms, because I don't use them anymore. But uh, I really should try to use them more often, because uh, that's obviously going to be helpful. Uh, I don't really want to focus on the Monkey Apprentice as the Fire, or the Dragon's Breath, to uh, be a lead buster, because my Bionic Boomer already has good lead busting, although I just remembered that because this is on medium, I have to worry about camo lead, and yeah, the Monkey Apprentice, it does have camo lead popping capabilities because of its lightning bolt and its fireball, but I don't really know exactly how well it'll do on that camo lead layer, or uh, level round thing, <laughs> um, because I've, I've never really been too confident in the Monkey Apprentice, uh, except for when I have a specialty ability and they did that one Wizards Only Challenge type of thing, but uh, obviously you saw how well they did or how well they didn't do um, on, uh, what's it called? Uh, that one stage, you know, you know the one I'm talking about, Country Road, <laughs> uh, the one where I tried using almost only Wizards and it just did not go very well at all. <laughs> uh, but, uh, like the, the round just said, this next wave is going to be a bunch of camo. And uh, I don't have any camo detection on my Monkey Ace. Which you would think it would have automatic camo detection, because it's not aiming at anything, it's just shooting the darts out. So, I think it'd be great if the Monkey Ace just had automatic camo detection. But, no, I've got to upgrade the uh, Pineapple Present and then camo detection. A little similar to... Uh, the monkey buccaneer, where you have to upgrade the grape shot and then crow's nest. But obviously not the same, because uh, <laughs> the grape shot is not the same as the pineapple present. Uh, if anything, the pineapple present is similar to the cannon ship that comes after. But anyways, um, I'm going to go with the uh, never miss targeting, just because I always prefer that one. Uh, being able to aim or target your uh, darts seems like a much more efficient use, rather than um, increasing your attack speed. Uh, just personal preference, I suppose, but maybe it is actually pretty much better. And I never use Ground Zero, um, because it wipes the screen of balloons, and that does seem helpful, but it goes back to the whole idea of I want my popping power to be consistent and not just reliant on an activated ability. Because eventually there's going to be a time where you're going to want to use that activated ability, but you're not going to be able to use it because you've already used it, and it's just going to be like, well... That's lame, but uh, <laughs> as long as you switch to Never Miss Targeting and or the Spectre, then you'll never be at a point where you'll be like, Oh, I wish I could use the Spectre, but I just used it, type of thing. You know what I mean? I'm never very good at describing that, or never. <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at describing that. Maybe I'm getting my point across, but... um, Alright. And I also don't really like using the uh, Pineapple Present, uh, just because it makes that explosion sound when the uh, Pineapple goes off, which isn't that big a deal. It's just one of those minor... Uh, personal preference type of things, um, but now that I did put on a uh, camo detection, uh, it should be helping with the uh, camo, um, what is it, the camo lead layer level round thing, <laughs> um, just because the uh, Monkey Apprentice Disciple of Air 
uh, should be able to pop through the camo layer pretty, uh, uh, what's the term, <laughs> pretty consistently or uh, reliably. And then the uh, monkey ace will help pop through the rest of the layers that aren't lead. Uh, because the Bionic Boomer can't pop camo, and I might do something about that. I might throw in a Monkey Village uh, to deal with that, or I might put a Mortar uh, with its anti-camo ability, like right in the middle or something. I won't place the Mortar in the middle, but I'll place it off to the side and then have it aim right in the middle, so that it's able to pop those. But uh, my fourth piece uh, to this uh, puzzle plan thing is a Super Monkey, because uh, that's just going to be all around awesome, except for the whole lack of camo detection. Uh, which is why maybe I'll even use a uh, Monkey Village with bigger beacons uh, to just get at least these two, but hopefully all four, uh, to increase their attack speed, uh, camera detection, and uh, range, because that'd be pretty useful. But uh, I obviously don't know what I'm going to use yet, uh, because the round is still young. Uh, or not the round, but uh, the game, the level place thing, the jig. Alright, uh, let's see. So this should be pretty easy. Um, I already got the epic range, so that should be good. And if I do get the, um, what's it called, specialty building for the super monkey, then just getting that first upgrade, the super range, uh, sort of super vision or whatever it was, uh, that will grant the super monkey um, camo detection, which is pretty helpful, but obviously if I've got the monkey apprentice, the cycle there, and the monkey ace, uh, Nifmus targeting, then I don't really need to worry too much about camos. Uh, they should be covered with those uh, other towers monkey thing jigs, which I uh, I never really <laughs> I never really say what they are. Like I'll say uh, monkey tower defense things, but I never usually use uh, one specific name for it, which I think is kind of funny, but um, maybe not that funny. <laughs> uh, so now that I'm actually able to uh, schedule uploads because now I'm a partner and monetize and all that, um, it should be pretty good. Uh, I actually did have time. Um, to upload a bunch of videos yesterday, or not upload, but uh, record a bunch of videos because I was home alone for a good chunk of time. And at first, it's like, oh hey, I was home alone, I could just get a bunch of recordings done, yay, I can be productive and stuff. And then I realized I'm home alone all day, like every weekday, <laughs> and yet I still only get like one day's of work, one day's worth of work uh, videos uploaded, which is kind of like, hey, I should uh, get better at doing that because. Uh, <laughs> Kind of like my job now that I'm actually getting paid for it, but it's still not quite my job because it's not like hundreds of bucks a day or anything. Uh, but anyways, that's not good. Uh, or never mind. Wow, that was actually really good. <laughs> good thing I chose the Disciple of Air because that Moab really made it far. <laughs> but the uh, Disciple of Air was able to throw back the four ceramic blooms so that the rest of my towers could pop the rest of them. So that was actually really cool. Uh, but obviously. I'm going to have to work on that because I know that the uh, Monkey Apprentice isn't going to be able to always pop those uh, or uh, blow them back the way that it just did. Alright, so I just realized that uh, on medium, if you buy a 1-2 Super Monkey, it costs 10000 and then a 2-2 two, two Super Monkey is 15000 That's really expensive. And then a uh, Robo Monkey would add that up to 24000 so, like I said, that's really expensive. That's ten times more expensive than a boomerang thrower, or a 2-3 boomerang thrower. And uh, that's about five times, no, almost five times more expensive. Or, is it five times more? I don't know. I'm not doing the math on that, but um, it's not that hard of a math. Hard of a math. It's not that big of a, or difficult of a math problem to do. But, uh, I'm, you know what? Fine. Mix this big deal out of it. Let's do this. 4,900 times five. That's, um, well, that's one way you could do that, is 9 times 5 is 45, and then 40 times 5 is 200, so that's 245, so that's pretty close. That's only 500 more than, or, okay. <laughs> uh, the, if I were to get a 2-3 Robo Monkey, that would be 500 less than 5 times as expensive as a 3-2 Monkey Ace. I'm not sure if that made sense, um, but it kind of did to me, so we'll just leave it. And let's see, will the monkey ace be able to replicate its awesomeness? No, not quite, because the uh, ceramics were able to be popped a little bit more uh, before the whirlwind kicked in, so it didn't quite uh, capture all of them in its whirlwind, so a few of them did leak, but still I've, le I've lost less than 150, so the strategy so far still works. 
um, if you don't have uh, triple lives. Obviously, if you do have triple lives, then you have nothing to worry about. Um, and if I have big loot sabotage, then we wouldn't even be discussing this problem. <laughs> but, um, okay, so that... I'm not sure if I did that correctly, <laughs> but uh, the whole 4,900 times 5 type thing... I'm sure at least one of you will probably correct me in the comments or tell me, oh hey, you actually did it right, but you didn't explain it very well. But anyways, uh, so, with 2,400, to get the technological terror, that's just a little bit over twice as much money. Uh, which would bring it to like 4,900, or uh, not 4,900, uh, 49,000, uh, which is quite a bit of money. But the technological terror is really good. And uh, that, I said good weird <laughs> right then. But um, it's probably better than the Sun God Monkey in some ways. At least better against the actual blooms. I've heard someone say the Robo Monkey slash Technological Terror is better against the Moabs, and then the Sun God Monkey is right against the actual uh, blooms that are on screen. Uh, which is pretty interesting. I've never, or I think I did kind of test, test it in the sandbox special, but um, I don't remember exactly how that went. And I'm upgrading this to the Master of Air uh, to make it a little bit more awesome, because after I, well, after I just did uh, upgrade it to the Tempest Tornado Master of Air thingy, I'm going. I keep saying thingy, but uh, anyways, I'm going to focus on trying to save up for a Spectre because that's going to be super awesome and very helpful against co uh, I was going to say Coabs, uh, Camo. Moabs, but there's no Camo Moabs in this. Um, I don't think there actually is technically any Camo Moab. The, uh, well, I'll discuss that later. Um, but anyways, the it'll also help with clumps because it'll have area of effect damage uh, because of the bombs that it throws in its uh, line of darts. And then also the Robo Monkey. Uh, once I'm done with the Spectre, I'm going to try and do save up for technological terror, but again, I don't know exactly how much money I'm going to have uh, after all this. So, uh, I'm already around 57, that's only 8 more rounds, which uh, I might be able to uh, afford a te technological terror by the time I get to round 65, and by the time I get to round 63, that'll be pretty interesting. Um, whether or not I'll have a spectre, I'm pretty sure I should have a spectre by the time I get to round 63. It's only five more rounds, and I'm getting at least like a thousand, maybe two thousand per round. So that's another five thousand, and I need another ten thousand. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea if I'm going to make it, but oh well. Uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, if anything, I could just activate or uh, upgrade my uh, boomerang thrower, binding boomer, to the turbocharge ability to help out with that uh, ceramic clump level. Uh, not exactly sure how well that'll go, but who knows? And here the Master of Air is popping the, uh, ooh, that's bad. I just lost a bunch of lives. Um, hmm. So I did not have very good camo defense, so that did drop me under 300, so I did technically lose that. But, uh, obviously because I have triple lives, that doesn't actually count as me losing, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, clearly this was not a good enough defense, and wow! Okay, I didn't lose that many, but, uh, I did lose a couple more lives because I couldn't defeat the BFB. That thing was really interesting. Uh, bad, but interesting, <laughs> that I'm not able to uh, defeat the BFB with this defense. Um, because obviously I didn't test this defense or anything. And uh, I feel like I should do something about the Master of Air. Alright, let's see. This is uh, definitely a large range. should have built this earlier, because obviously I do have enough money uh, to give everything f um, faster attack rates and... Uh, what's it called? Um, camo detection. And I'm increasing it to the Monkey Town just for right now, so that I'm uh, getting a little bit more money uh, while I'm doing this. And then I'm going to sell it and bring it back down. And actually, uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, so I upgraded it to Monkey Town so that everything in the radius gets 50% more cash per pop, which is very useful, uh, especially because everything is in my range. Um, so I'm getting a little bit more money, but not that much because this round in particular doesn't give you that much money just because it's uh, lower level camo blooms. And thankfully now I do have camo detection on all of these, but... Alright, let's see. So this, I can sell it for 16500 And I've got 1300 so... Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm actually going to sell my boomerang thrower to get that... Um, what's it called? Uh, to get the uh, specter. Because that's going to be very useful with the ceramic clumps. And obviously, it worked. <laughs> so... Uh, that was a decent strategy, I guess, but I should have done this earlier. I really should have used the jungle drums earlier, or not the jungle drums, the uh, monkey village, 
so I could get the camo detection on those earlier waves. So while I technically didn't test it, um, I do recommend that if you are using this strategy or a similar strategy, uh, definitely get the Monkey Village with camo detection on uh, before that wave. Um, I forgot what wave it is. I think 62 or 60 or something. Or, yeah, 59. That's what it was. That's where I lost a bunch of lives. And obviously I did just lose a bunch more lives because of the BFB, or not BFB, so those MOABs. Just so ridiculous. Why am I losing so many lives? Uh, obviously I'm not doing very well uh, with this strategy. And I'm going to build another Super Monkey. Uh, hopefully that'll be helpful. And yeah, sell that. Get a better Super Monkey. Obviously, because I'm going to need it for sure. Man, I did not do very good good on this level. I was doing alright in the beginning, obviously, yeah, until like uh, dog 50. And then just started going downhill from there. But uh, hopefully, no, I'm not going to have enough for another Robo Monkey. But hopefully having a second uh, Plasma Monkey, or really, that other Plasma Monkey, it's not really a second, since this one's a Robo Monkey, but obviously that's going to be good, especially with the Spectre. It's just really interesting how bad I did on that level, but uh, at least I got 800 monkey money. That's quite a lot of monkey money. Um, so let's see, let's upgrades. Oh, I'm still only 2,600. Yeah, not that much. Uh, Big Blue Sabotage would have been really helpful. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to redo that. Um, and I'll try to redo it today if you comment fast enough. Uh, if not, I'll probably just try to upload two videos tomorrow or something. Um, yeah. That's it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.